In Captivate, you can convert any interactive or non-interactive object to multi-state object. This will allow you to build interactions quickly. Let's take a look at how to convert a non-interactive object to a multi-state object first. Select the star shape on the slide. Then, go to the Properties Inspector and click the plus symbol under the Object State section. Now, let's name it. I'll just name this as Circle and click OK. You will notice that the new state added to the star shape is appearing with a blue outline. Now, let's change the properties of this shape so that it looks different. Right-click the shape, select Replace Smart Shape and select the oval shape. Let's also change the fill color for this shape. Let's add one more state to this object by clicking the plus sign again and this time let's name it as triangle and click OK. Let's change the shape and change the fill color. These two states have now been added to the normal state which was a star and we've added additional states of circle and triangle. If you wish to do further modifications to these states and want to see all the states in a single view, you can click the State View button and that will open the Object State panel for you. In this panel, you can click New State to add additional states. You can right-click the states to add new states, rename the state, delete a state, reset state to look like the normal state, set the state as default or duplicate a state. You can also add additional non-interactive objects to these states. So if you wish to add one more object on top of this state, you can easily do that by adding those additional state objects. These additional objects will appear with a red outline to indicate that these are additional objects. To exit the object state view, click the exit state button. Similar to the shape, you can add states to images, by following the same process of clicking the plus symbol and then replacing the existing image with a new one by clicking the button with the name of the image and then selecting the image that you want to replace it with. You can also add states to the character images that you've added in your course. Click the plus sign, give it a new name and click OK. And then in this new state, you can click the replace character button Select the new character and click OK. The character image will now be swapped in the new state. Now let's see how to add inbuilt states to the interactive objects. First, let's add a button here. I'll select a shape, draw it on the stage and then select Use as button. Then go to the Object State section and open the drop-down. You will notice that rollover and down states have automatically been added for this button. Along with these two states, you can also add a visited state. So click the plus sign and you will see inbuilt state here with visited selected and click OK. Now you can change the look and feel of these states so that they look different. Let me change the fill color here so that when the button is clicked, it looks green. Now let's preview this slide. You go to preview and select from the slide. Notice that when I hover over the button, the color of the button changes. When I click and hold it, the color changes again. And when I release the mouse button, it changes to green. Now let's go to the next slide and see a drag and drop interaction that I've already created. Here, I have a tea bag and a cup of water. When I drop the tea bag on the cup of water, a hot cup of tea is ready. But visually, you don't see any changes in the tea bag and the cup of tea. So let's add those visual changes using the drag and drop states inside Captivate. Let's close the preview dialog and then go to the third slide. Here, the tea bag is my draggable. I'll select it and then go to the properties inspector and click the plus sign. Here, I need to add the drag over state and click OK. Instead of teabag.png, let's change it to teabagover.png and click OK so that when the teabag goes over the cup, it has these arrows to indicate that the teabag has to be dipped in the cup of tea. Now, select the drop target, click the plus sign and then select drop correct and then click OK. 
Here, again, we'll change water.png to t.png and click OK. Now, let's preview it to see the visual changes. Click Preview and then from the slide. Let's drag the tea bag over the cup and you will see these arrows indicating that the tea bag has to be dipped. And when you release it, it shows a hot cup of tea. Let's close the preview now and then go and check out how to change custom states by applying actions in Captivate. Here on the screen, I have this character image for which I have two different states for correct and for incorrect state. I want to change the state of this object to correct when this button is clicked and to incorrect when this button is clicked. Select the correct response button, go to actions tab and on success, scroll down and select change state of. Then select character and then select the correct state. Also uncheck continue playing the project. Then let's select incorrect response button, open the on success drop down. Select change state of, select character and then select the incorrect state. And then uncheck continue playing the project for this one as well. Then click preview and from this slide, clicking on correct response will bring in the correct pose of the character and clicking on incorrect response will bring in the incorrect pose. Let's close the preview and let's see one last scenario for multi-state objects. On this slide, I've added a multi-state object where I have different states added here. We can apply go to previous state and go to next state actions to these button to create a looping slideshow. Let's apply those actions. I'll select the next button here, go to the on success drop down, scroll down and select go to next state and uncheck continue playing the project. Then select the back button, select the on success drop down and then select go to the previous state and then again uncheck continue playing the project. Now let's preview this from this slide. Here clicking the next button will take you to the next state of this multi-state object and you will notice that it never stops. It keeps looping from the last state to the first state of the object.